special weather statement gusts of 50 coming. Elimination round is here, it's Red Crest. I'm feeling all right, you know, we got some big weather coming in. It's gonna be a very, very different day than what we've seen all week. I'm gonna do the same thing I did the first day to start, and then I'm gonna not do the same thing after that. Like I went sight fishing on, on day one and I spent way too much time doing that. I'm scoping till I'm not hoping that I'm in the knockout round. That's the whole goal. When I scoped, I caught them. When I didn't, I tried to sight fish and I tried to do other things. It got really, really bad. It's gonna end up taking a lot of weight to do well in this thing. You know, when if, you, if you're wanting to make that final day and make a run at this thing, it's gonna take a lot of weight. And um, frankly, we're not on that yet. Hey guys, as y'all know, we've been doing the Bass Forecast Kissler giveaway. And if you guys want to win a Curios Reel this week from this video, one week from today, we're going to pick the winner. To be entered to win, all you have to do is comment your Bass Forecast rating for your area. We're going to pick a winner one week from today. If we select you, Trey Kissler is going to personally ship you a Curios Reel. Download Bass Forecast, comment your BFR for your location. I hope you win. Uh, the weather's going to affect a lot of things. Um, we've got pollen in the water. And as it rains and winds, the pollen's gonna disperse and sink, which you think that's a good thing, but it's actually gonna black out everybody's live scope screens. I, I, I don't I don't know. All I know is that it's gonna change. That's all I know. Go, buddy. Get it in. Check the radar one last time. It's already almost to Birmingham. Yeah, dude, today is gonna suck. Gosh. Wheeler this morning was like, man, it doesn't say till noon. And I was like, what my phone says, but it's not what my radar says, you know? It's what the weatherman says. All right, you ready? Here comes the fish. Kind of missed it there. Gotta get it right up in there. Maybe not. It was right where he should have been, right there. Let me know if Jesse Wiggins catches one, too. Water's come down. That's probably why. Oh, gosh dang it. Well, that trailer hook sucks. I put a trailer hook on today because I missed so many yesterday. It hooks stuff. I'll give it that. All right. We got a 20-minute boat ride. Might go to. It's gonna be really close. Right? One. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'll take it. You're not gonna do it. The cat. I got a catfish. I knew it. I should have reeled it away from him when he's coming at me. I saw how slow he was. What's that? What place are we in? I'm sorry. Thirteenth. Okay. Oh, that was a big one. Dang it. That's a good one right there, boys. Ten. Right. We'll take that. That's a good one. Two six. Just chasing fish around. Just lame stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna tuck in if it gets real bad. I ain't about that life. Hey, will you check the radar and make sure we're not under like a tornado warning just to be safe? Special weather statement, gusts of 50 coming. Catfish, the catfish. Yeah. I think the worst of it's already passed. I'm gonna be patient here for just a second. Catfish.
the expo one more day. <laughs> I don't know how much pressure you felt. I'm sure a lot. I was sitting here and I'm thinking I'm starting to feel pressure. <laughs> oh man. Well, once again, he proved you can't count the dude out. He's so stinking good at catching bass. Because if you put me in that situation, above the cut line, below the cut line, above the cut line, I'm folding like a lawn chair. But not our guy, nope. Not a double J. You looking for a signature? I can hook you up. This right here? Yeah. First of all, you scared me. <laughs> I scared myself. I was like, I've got to work the expo for two days now. But now, it's either one or none. And we got a, I think there's a little bit of a pay bump for making it another day. Yep. And it didn't take that much weight. That's what I was also mad about. I'm like, you didn't even have to catch them good today. What, I catch like 10 pounds today? 11, 11 pounds yeah. and still made it? I struggled. <laughs> it don't matter. Now I'm tied for first. Yep. I'm tied for first. <laughs> Can't beat it. It's the unbeatable game. Tyler and I, we're like dead tired. You flip the switch and it just flips itself right back off. And I can't stop doing it. Honestly, today was rough. Fishing's tough out here right now. It's a tough deal because I feel like there's three places where probably gonna be one. And I'm not fishing any of those three places. And it's not as simple as just go there because there are other competitors there and, and I wasn't in those exact spots on day one. So um, I have no right to be there the rest of the week. Current changes, wind changes, could push fish to my area. And, and you really never know, especially um, in a live scope event with spotted bass, the right fish and the right bait swims into my area and we could have a chance. The fish are getting a lot more educated. And honestly, I think that there's less fish day by day out doing what I'm doing because it's the springtime. Water 60 degrees. I don't care how much bait is in the middle of the lake. The fish have to be thinking about spawning. Those spots do. And there's going to be a day in not very long. I mean, in the next week, two weeks that all those fish go to the bank and lay on beds and um, you know, and at that point, all of a sudden the tournament gets worn on a shaky head, not a jig head minnow. So, um, you know, if we're really struggling tomorrow, might tie on a shaky head and go do that. Uh, <clears throat> but man, it was, it was a grind out there today. It was a grind. All right. Was that what you wanted for a 10 minute, 10 minute monologue? Yeah, yeah. How you feeling this I feel good. I feel better than I did yesterday evening. So we're improving. You know, it's gonna be a really good day for live scope. The wind's gonna be calm. We're not gonna get any rain. If there's ever a time I can kind of see through the pollen, it'll be this morning. I'm hoping some of the rain that we had yesterday kind of beat that pollen down, sank to the bottom. And we're gonna go live scoping. You know, we don't have to have just a crazy good day today. The weights are gonna zero at the end of the day, but we gotta make sure we're in that top 10. We're gonna have to work our tail off. Hopefully we can scope around, make key cast, dude. Your window of opportunity on these spots is this big. They're swimming fast, and half the time, like what I'm doing is I'm panning out there, I'm like, oh, there's three of them, those are the ones. But by the time you get there, those spots, they see a group of bait, and they go and disappear. You'll never see them again. Your window of opportunity to hit these fish is really small, so making one bad cast costs you catching one of these fish. Um, we just, we got a fish clean today. When a big one bites, we got to put him in the boat, and I need a couple kicker bites. I'm excited. Like, I didn't really think I was going to be excited last night, though, but I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, we're gonna catch some bass today, maybe. Get a little closer to 300 grand. Let's go, buddy. Yeah, get him. Yeah, get him. That was not a bass. I'll tell you that right now. Whatever that was, not a bass. He was taking off the other way with it, but I mean, honestly, maybe a gar. A big old gar fish, I think. I think that was a score. There we go, there's a scoreboard. That one's a two pounder there, barely, but you go two. Two pounds, seven ounces. Took us long enough. 
That's a good one. That's my be a three pounder. Stay hooked. I'm gonna come right there. Yeah, that's a big one. Yes, sir. That's a little tank right there. Three pounds, two ounces. There we go, that's a nice one. Big or small? Small, small, small. Very small. Woo! an acrobat, you see that? Some little bitty old suckers. That was not little. I don't know, dude. I don't think so. <laughs> now he's one pound seven ounces. <laughs> That's what they're feeding on. Oh, look at the size of that one. I mean, little bitty old things. I'm kind of cold. Yeah, here, here are 15th, four pounds, three ounces below the line. It's gonna take 30 pounds. That's a good one. There we go. He's gonna be close, but he shouldn't do it. Two pounds, six ounces. Okay. How about that score? Two pounds, nine ounces. I'd love to just see him. I'm sure somewhere there's a wolf pack of 20 of them where you can sit there and catch a couple. No, gosh dang it, man. Dang it, dude. Ah, dude, I've had I've had the bites for probably being cut. I mean, I'm jacking them up pretty bad today. That one I didn't even feel him bite it. He had it. Can't do no better than that. Dropped it right on his nose and he darted for it. There we go. Gosh, man, that fish was an inch under the surface. Two pounds, ten ounces. All right. Big one. Big one. Like a big one. This might be a four pounder. I hadn't seen it yet, but like it's kicking my tail. Alright, let's go. Alright. That's a good one, guys. We need more like that. Want to score? There we go, baby. I almost didn't throw it that one. I thought he was too small. Two pounds, six inches. Freaking good one. A little bigger, isn't it? Two pounds, six ounces. No, two six. That's the sound of a scoreboard right there. Three pounder. Three pounds, zero ounce. Another good one. I don't know if he's gonna do it or not. He's really close. Two pound, two ounce. All right. I, I guess he just looks small because we just caught a three pound. Nope, not big ones. There we go. That's a good one. There we go. I'm not doing any of that weird crap. Two pound, four ounce. Look at how plump that thing. On a bad period right there. On a bad little period. All right, let's just keep that up. We don't even have to have that good of a period. We just need to catch us a couple bass, put us over the hump. Gosh, man, that's, that looks like a big one. That's pretty sure that's a spot too. Dude, these things swim in zigzags. I think he was bass, he just bit me too. Gosh, dude, little spots, I know they are. Little. Freaking caught it. Damn it. I guess that was a good cast. Yep, that's a good one. That's a big one. Mm hmm. Oh. Two pound 11 ounces. 211. 
doing what I'm doing. If it keeps like this, the problem is tomorrow it's gonna be way harder with the with the rain and stuff. We could have us a fun day tomorrow. I mean, there's potential, you know. I'd love to be able to see. Dang it! Every time they get to the bait before my bait gets to them. Never mind. That's a good one too. I need that one. Mm, yeah, he's going to two pounds. Two pounds, two ounces. Complained a little too quick. Every time I'm looking at these two big dots, I'm like, oh, those are set up right. They're high, they're riding. They see bait and they go. Shoo, 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 shoo. Well, the bait split and all that was left was my bait. What place are we in? Seventh, eight? Okay. How far out of 11? I think this is my score. Mm, I don't think so. Big one. Come back there. Here we go. Two pounds, six ounces. One way I'm probably making. Two, one, lines out, end of round. Hey, we don't gotta work the X-Files. Woo! Cheers. Thanks, sir. What's up, man? I'm gonna show catch a, or you catch a bunch of them, a bunch of little ones <laughs> and a bunch of good size. Ones. Oh, is that y'all on that boat that yeah. followed me all? Yeah, man. the one that's probably aggravating you No, dude. <laughs> I was hoping y'all were going to try to out-cheer the rest of the other group. <laughs> Today was pretty fun. I mean, like, it went better than expected. That's my sentence. Can you believe how much it took? I can't believe how much it took. Yeah, I looked at, I looked at the score trigger first period, and I was like, I didn't get, I caught a couple thirds, but it wasn't like second. Second was good. I had like a 25-ish pound period. Cole Floyd is, he, Cole has always wanted my autograph. He's just been too embarrassed to ask, so. Signing Cole's hoodie, so he'll have my autograph on live tomorrow if he wears it. <laughs> he doesn't know. No, he doesn't know. <laughs> Once again, the top tier of the program. Yeah, man, it's really exciting. You know, if you'd have told me what it was going to take today going out, I'd have probably kept it on the trailer. These guys absolutely blasted them. But the conditions set up really well with the calm winds, sunny skies. Uh, the pollen wasn't too bad today. So all those guys scope and myself included really had the perfect conditions, which it looks like we're probably not going to have near as good of conditions tomorrow. So uh, it may take a little bit of adjusting. You know, contender sounds good, but champion would even sound better. Much better. better. That's here for Elton Jones Jr. It's kind of the same that uh, Gerald's saying. Like, uh, I don't, I don't want to say like my my game plan overall is going to be the same regardless of the conditions. But uh, you know, there'll be some on the fly adjustments uh, depending on how much rain we get um, can make what I'm doing um, more difficult. So um, you know, just finding an area that um, is 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 not too bad with the pollen is going to be key. But uh, yeah, just kind of fishing on the fly. Well, what's the vibe? Um, the vibes are it's late. I haven't done tackle, but I'm excited to fish a top 10 day at Redcrest. I'm not going to sit here and be like, I'm on the fish to win. This could be it. But weights are zeroed. It's a live scope and derby. I feel like I'm dangerous with live scope. If the right spotted bass make the mistake of swimming over my way, we can do this thing. You know, I mean, that's, that's really what it is. Like, it's like all, so this whole week, there's been a lot of moving and shaking guys getting into fights over areas. Now the dust is all settled. Guys have staked their claim of their zones. I have three very small zones in one big area. And so I'm going to I'm gonna grind it out in those zones. I'm going to stare at my screen all day tomorrow and try to cover as much water and put my bait in front of as many scoreable bass as I can. They're getting really finicky. It's going to take a lot of weight tomorrow. We caught, I mean, we caught a lot more than I thought I could today. It's a good week. Good points. Just kidding. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching the Trimmed Up series. Knockout round was a fun one. If you want to see kind of how the whole week developed, we've got other tournament videos, practice videos, 
just click the link right here. We're gonna put one of them right here. Stay tuned, championship round, $300,000.